Hypertension, the serious medical problem, applies today, unfortunately, to 25% of the population, regardless where we live, whether we live in Africa, Asia, Europe, America, Australia. It is a very serious problem with serious consequences if improperly treated. Hypertension, it doesn't apply only to people, it applies only to children. Today, children suffer from hypertension. Why? That's a very good question. Why? Why children? Well, there is a, uh, in medicine in general, there is an assumption, correct, however, that hypertension can be caused by, for example, malfunction of kidneys, hormonal imbalances, by improper dieting, by imbalance in electrolytes, which means magnesium, sodium, potassium. However, there is a one more very important reason why people today suffer from hypertension. Most of them sometimes doesn't even know they have one. The unspoken reason behind hypertension is our overload with heavy metals, specifically cadmium, mercury, arsenic, aluminum. There is also another problem with hypertension, lack of proper balance in so-called good minerals. Among them, copper, zinc, zinc, magnesium. These are also unspoken reasons behind hypertension. We must see the reasons in order to proper treat or prevent hypertension, we need to see how much calcium I have in our body, whether it is in good relation with other electrolytes, sodium, magnesium, potassium, because overloading body, which is very popular these days, with uh, calcium may cause problem which we are talking about. Calcium, in, uh, if is in imbalance with those electrolytes, can cause the problem. Therefore, it is very important not to forget the officially uh, 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 known causes, as I mentioned before, but again to look into the body to see which minerals are in uh, improper balance or we have them too much or not enough. That's the proper way of approaching hypertension. The only way to check is, and unfortunately, not blood work, but we can only check this by checking the soft tissue, which is the hair. Talking about hypertension, we shall, shall not forget that uh, uh, physicians do everything, whatever is possible, to keep the pressure, uh, blood pressure under control. However, 
the science behind hypertension is a little bit more than just those uh, uh, elements which I mentioned before. All the physician must accept one proven thing that behind hypertension there are also mineral imbalances. Considering this and accepting this as a fact will allow them to treat the patients more efficiently. I hope that the medical establishment, all the fine physicians, will consider in their practices taking uh, 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 the hair analysis as a tool which will supplement, let me say, their uh, science they learned and they, it will help them to treat the hypertension not just pharmacologically but also from the point of view of other causes which until perhaps now they may not know about. While talking about hypertension, the obvious question is how to, the best, what is the best way to treat it or to prevent it even better? Well, I believe that integration of the science officially recognized behind the hypertension treatment Integration with those things which I'm talking about, with establishing a good, proper nourishment for the body. What I mean by that is dieting or uh, supplementation. Proper supplementation, proper dieting. For my body, not my neighbor's body, for my body. This is the only way, in my conviction, to see the hypertension, not just from the pharmacological point of view, but, as I said, integrating with the other side, looking upon other causes and removing the causes of hypertension, it is the most efficient way to control hypertension, which is a very serious problem, which is not treated properly. We cannot afford to be on uh, uh, pharmaceuticals for the rest of our lives we have to find the causes and minimalize, minimalize the effects of hypertension, which might be, as I said previously, very serious, even life-threatening. Thank you.